Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, man, I uh, was uh, thinking through a few things up here, and uh, yeah, I was just trying to trying out some new sounds. And trying, I've been recording up here for uh, the last <clears throat> week or two on some friends' projects and uh, having a blast. And I uh, just wanted to share a few things uh, about some of that. Uh, talking through some of the gear and some of the sounds, but I want to show you a few uh, a few things. I'm, today I'm playing this little uh, Vox AC15 right there. Uh, that thing has been on uh, on sale uh, on consignment, rather. Uh, it was sitting at Carter Vintage Guitars in Nashville for man, I don't even know, maybe a year, and it never sold. And I'm kind of glad it never did because I I didn't I don't know if I really wanted to get rid of. I was just I was trying to clear out a bunch of stuff and and kind of you know try some new things and make make space for some other things and I never sold and I thought man you know I'm gonna go back up there and get that amp and I've been playing it up here having a blast like, I love this thing it's such a great little amp it's a uh, it's one of the 90s ones uh, the British uh, era Vox it's got a blue speaker in it and it just sounds fantastic um, toured with it for a long time uh, for a while it was part of my main rig. Uh, maybe 2007, 2008-ish. Uh, and I was using it with the Vox AC30, AC30 and AC15 together. And that was cool. I really liked that. They both had blue speakers in it, and I was really happy. I had a big stereo thing going for a while. Uh, before that, I was using the Ful Fulton, uh, Fulton Web over here. There. Uh, with the Vox. And now I use the mattress with the Vox. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm a sucker for that sound, that Voxy English uh, British thing, uh, the matchless thing, the Vox thing. Anyway, I went and picked it up, and man, it's great for recording or for playing at lower levels. If you uh, don't, you know, it's got a master on there if you need to keep the, the sound down but still crank the um, tubes a little. And uh, yeah, so uh, I just got it a couple days ago, so I haven't even really tested it out. I want to run it in the studio and see how it records because I remember it being a great amp mic'd up, but it's been a while. So yeah, so that's what I'm playing through today. Uh, and I was gonna show you this kind of fun little trick I was playing with in my pedal board here. Like I said, I've been re uh, recording up here, so I've kind of pulled my pedal board apart, searching for tones and sounds, because I, you know, I just, as we all do, you're looking for new sounds and new things to inspire you and, and keep you creative and keep you going. And uh, so lately that has been, uh, you know, a couple different things, like just to give you an idea of what I'm actually using in the studio a lot. Uh, I use my tellies, this one and the, the one with humbuckers. Great thing about the one with humbuckers, it's a little less um, buzzy sometimes if the single coils are at, being loud. Uh, so both of those, I use the Fano a lot, uh, Les Paul some, and then uh, and then there's a, a Duesenberg guitar that's kind of, um, that, uh, that they uh, gave to Chris. So it's on, on loan from Mr. Uh, Tomlin, sort of. Uh, we, we use it here and there on tour and occasionally on albums. And uh, that one, that thing stays in tune like a champ and it just records great. It's just a wonderful guitar. Uh, so yeah, in the studio, I'm using my little pedal board, but I've ripped off, a, I've got a few of my normal things on here and then I've started adding some new stuff. So like, you know, a lot of times you might need an octave thing um, in a track need some reverb options, delay, and then the gain stage, you know, that's that's really where things change for me in the studio because, uh, you know, I use the amp a lot in the studio to dial up my sounds, and so I might just push it with a little bit of a compressor or a boost or, uh, you know, one of those things. And lately on the pedal board, uh, what I've been using um, this week, uh, I still have the King of Tone on there, which has been a staple for me for a couple years. Um, but I put this JHS double barrel back on the pedal board in the morning glory side of that pedal board or that pedal. It's one of these pedals that has to, I'll show you a picture, but it's, it's one of these that's got, you know, it's double, uh, it's like a double pedal. What, what do you call it? I don't know, two in one. And uh, so they've got like a, a tube screamer on one side, which I'm a huge fan of, love tube screamer circuits and that's a good one. And then the uh, morning glory, <clears throat> morning glory side of the pedal as well. Uh, and one little trick, just talking about pedals, you know, that can maybe help you if you're, if you're thinking through uh, a pedal board, these two-in-one pedals, 
can really save you some grief because if you get a couple of good ones, you can get multiple, multiple gain stages out of just a few pedals. So right now I've got the, uh, the ZVEX Box of Rock on here, which has a great boost in it as well as like a kind of Marshall uh, uh, drive channel. Then I've got the uh, double barrel from JHS. And then I've got the King of Tones. So that's six gain stages and only three pedals. And so if you think about that, if they're all sitting side by side, you know, you got three pedals sitting side by side. Well, that's only, you need one, two patch cables and you've got six gain stages. And I like keeping my patch cables uh, to a minimum if I can. In the past, I mean, you know, the more I add stuff and add stuff and add stuff, I just, I don't know, sometimes I, I get in my own way. And so I like to keep things simple. So right now, I'm using the uh, Box of Rock, the Double Barrel, the King of Tongue. I've got a little vibrato from this Maleco company. You ever seen those little tiny, I'll show you a picture of the pedal board in a little bit. Uh, and then the reverb, Timeline, Pog, and then I'm using the Strymon Blue Sky for a reverb as well. And uh, it's got more options, you know, than the, the Boss one that I use all the time. You can get some shimmer out of there. You can get a spring. It's got a great spring sound. Okay, so that's kind of what you know, I've been using lately, and I always have the whammy sitting around because that's a great octave digital kind of flubby kind of sound that's really cool. Um, and then, yeah, that's kind of, you know, what I've been using lately. Just figured I'd kind of run through that. And I, lately I've been just tracking everything on the matchless still, although I want to try this Fox AC-15 soon and see uh, what I can um, what I can get that thing to do. But I was going to show you this quick trick. All right, so I was thinking through uh, a way to get some new sounds, and I thought, well, what if I ran a reverb into a reverb on my pedal board? And then I started thinking, well, what if I ran a pog octave up into a shimmer reverb? So it's like an octave into an octave and a reverb into a reverb. And then I was like, what if I ran a vibrato pedal into a delay that's got some vibrato uh, or like a chorus vibrato? So you could get some like really weird kind of deep... <laughs> dimensions here and it kind of came up with a cool tone i don't know Let's see what you think here this is kind of a fun thing to play with uh so i was playing these chords um just an e here cool sound and it doesn't really uh it doesn't really have a ton of trails on it because i'm the delay is really only like it's like a couple repeats let me back this sound up a little bit for fun to show you what i'm using so this is the amp just on its own not much to it and then the morning glory just got a nice little uh drive to it i love what it does to the the, when you pick, it's got this nice kind of uh, response to the strings. And then I'm using this vibrato pedal. I'm using 
tape delay in the Strymon on top of the vibrato, so you get this extra vibrato. This one's longer, so I'll, I'll turn off the vibrato pedal so you can hear it. And then you add the vibrato back in. Okay? And then digital uh, boss reverb. And then this is the Strymon. A little bit of spring with like a shimmer. All right, it's a lot of wacky stuff, but. So you can kind of hear this like. I don't know, just playing around. Uh, having some fun here with the uh, pedal board and the AC-15, changing some things around. Um, yeah, I uh, recently had a couple of questions in the um, comment section that were really good. And so I want to get to those next time and uh, maybe talk about building a simple rig. I've had a couple of different questions about, hey, what would you start with? And uh, what would be like a kind of a kind of where would I start to build a pedal board if I was if I was new? So if you'd be interested in that, let me know. Uh, several of you have asked, and I think that would be one to cover because uh, you don't have to have, you know, thousands of dollars of pedals to make good sounds. Um, yeah, hope that's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, comment below, and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, really enjoying this. Sorry it's been a few days, but uh, been busy up here. And hope you're doing well. Let's talk soon. Okay, so this is a total mess, but lately, here's what I've been doing. Uh, box of rocks not plugged at the moment because I got to... Uh, I gotta figure out another power cable. This one's 18 volts or something. I gotta figure this out. But anyway, uh, so yeah, double barrel, super cool. Box of Rock is awesome. This is a great little vibrato pedal, a little cheaper than the uh, Boss <laughs> VB old vintage uh, vibrato thing. Um, King of Tone is great as always. Um, these are kind of staples on the board. And then, um, you know, I've added that instead of the Memory Man. Just because the last thing I was tracking, I needed a different verb to keep things spicy. So I hope this helps, guys. Just a little something fun to play with. And as always, got the uh, whammy pedal over here. Um, yeah. So hope you guys are well. Enjoy.